We'll give it a bite. We'll actually get that bite right there with the cookie. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Johnny Boy back again from Johnny Boy Eats and today we're doing another food review. It's going to be the limited edition Halloween pack brownies from Buckeye Brownies. And if this is your first time watching me and you like food reviews, food vlogs, food challenges, mukbangs, things like that, make sure to the subscribe button and smash the notification bell. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, like I said, we, um, we did these brownies two months ago, um, but it was a different flavor. They have different flavors every month. Like I said, it's a company called Buckeye Brownies. They're out of Ohio. And every month they do different types of brownies. Um, a couple months ago I had, there was like four different brownies that I had. And they were delicious. I thought they were really good. Um, there was two chocolate ones. There was two like fruity kinds. One was a, a fruity pebbles with like strawberry. And the other one, the other one was like a lemon one. Uh, the one was a Twix kind of shortbread cookie one. And there was a Reese's one as well, like chocolate and Reese's. So today it's going to be their uh, their Halloween pack. It's called the limited edition Halloween pack uh, brownies. So I'm gonna show you the four brownies that we have for this time. I'm gonna give them a try and see what we think. So this month, which also looked like a very good month, and I'm very excited to try these out. Again, it's called uh, the company's called Buckeye Brownies. Uh, if you want to check them out on Instagram and stuff like that, I'll link their, uh, I'll link the, in the description, I'll link the, uh, the website to buy the brownies and I'll also link their Instagram as well in the description. So here's the brownies. We have, um, this one right here is called the, I'm going to go through every single one, but this is the Midnight Madness. This one right here with the cookies and cream, the Oreos. This one is called the Witch's Pot, which it has, looks like a Snickers or some bar in there, it has some peanut M&Ms. This one is called the Bumping Pumpkin. Um, it's like a pumpkin pie kind of thing. And this one is called the the Orchard's Haunting. It's like a uh, apple pie type of thing. So we'll go, we'll start them off. I'll just read off what it is and then I'm just gonna actually brought a knife with me in the car to cut them, uh, to cut little uh, pieces off to try them. So this one right here is the Midnight Madness. It has, it's a brownie base layered with mini marshmallows and Oreos topped with a double chocolate cookies and cream cookie dough infused with white chocolate chips and broken up Oreos. Sorry, that's a mouthful. <laughs> All topped with mini Oreos and powdered sugar. So it sounds like it's basically like, you know, just Oreos, just Oreos, cookies and cream all over the place it looks like. There's a the side of the brownie. It looks like it has like some Oreos right there, some chocolate brownie. We're gonna give it a bite. You know what? Maybe I'll just give them a bite. Maybe instead of just cutting a piece, maybe I'll just take one bite and then see uh, see what I think about it. So here's the brownie. Cookies and cream paradise right here. So we'll give it a bite. We'll actually get that bite right there with the cookie. Mm. It's good. I'm tasting chocolate. I'm tasting obviously the cream from the uh, from the cookies and cream. That's what the bite looked like. You got some the brownie, the cookies. You can definitely see like the layers. Delicious. I'm gonna try and get that little bite right there. Mm. Really good. It's not bad. Um, very chocolatey. So if you're not a chocolate fan or a cookies and cream fan, you're definitely not gonna like this. But uh, if you do like cookies and cream or cookies, Oreos, like any of that type of stuff, you'll definitely like these. Um, uh, pretty good um, texture. I'm not gonna complain about the texture. Texture is good. Uh, cookies are good. 
Uh, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give it though, because I've definitely had they've, they've had better brownies, and I think some of these brownies over here look a lot better. Um, I'm gonna give this one, and I'm gonna give this one a 6.5 out of 10. Now, I, you know, I know that sounds pretty low for me, but um, you know, I thought this was just pretty good. It was like okay, um, you know, not that I am a, I do love Oreos. Don't get me wrong, but. Uh, this just hits a little bit different than Oreos, um, uh, but not not in a bad way. You know what I mean? It just you know I would rather have I think the Oreos. Um, it's a lot of chocolate though. You know what I mean? So if you're not a big chocolate, I do like chocolate, but sometimes some, a lot of chocolate can be you know a little bit too much. So that's that one. That's the Midnight Madness. Next one on the list is called the Witch's Pot. So it is this one. So it has. Let's read it. It's a brownie base layered with Halloween inspired Oreos. So more Oreos. Uh, topped with a Snickers themed cookie dough infused with chopped peanuts and peanut M&Ms. All topped with more peanut M&Ms and a mini Snickers bar after the bake. So it looks like just a bunch of peanuts and peanut M&Ms and some Oreos and some Snickers. So I like, uh, I love peanut M&Ms. I don't know about you guys. I love Snickers. But, um, so I think this will be, I think this will be a good one. So this is what it looks like. The cross section it has little Oreos. It has the peanut M&Ms you see. Yeah, I see the Snickers on top. So I want to give it a bite. I'm going to try and buy it maybe right in the corner. Right in the corner there. Mm. I'm loving them, uh, the peanut M&Ms. So good. Good. Nice texture. You definitely get those peanut M&Ms. Um, I'm not really tasting the Oreo. Um, but you know it's okay it's not a problem it still was good the peanut m&ms like really really did good with this one um so i think this one definitely better i think this one's maybe like a maybe like a 7.5 out of 10 um really good um i think i just think these other ones are going to be a lot better i'm really excited for the apple pie one but um so i think this one you know was pretty good 7.5 out of 10, not a bad score. Um, you know, if you've seen any of my videos, um, like I said, the M&Ms, they're really good. If you like peanut M&Ms, you'll definitely really like this one. Um, so on to the next one, let's see what it is. It is this one, the Bumping Pumpkin. It's like, it's like a pumpkin pie type of thing. The Bumping Pumpkin, all right, what does it have? Blondie base layered with a frosted pumpkin pie Pop-Tart. I love pumpkin pie Pop-Tarts, um, topped with our homemade pumpkin cheesecake cookie dough, all topped with a cream cheese, with a cream cheese drizzle, and a dash of pumpkin spice. So very just pumpkin. It sounds like which hey, during uh, you know Halloween and October, like that's that's what you want during the fall. It's a pumpkin. So let's see. First thing I smell is pumpkin. Like that, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting just pumpkin. There's a pop tart. I see the pop tart in there. I guess that that right there is the. Uh, cheesecake so we'll try and give it a bite maybe again like maybe a corner we'll try mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah good if you're a fan of pumpkin you definitely like this I'm gonna get a bite of that it looks like the a lot of the cheesecake Mm-hmm. Really good. Very really good. Um, the one thing I will say about this one, though, is that just by feeling it and stuff like it, like touching it, I can feel that, and even just by biting into it, this one is a little dry. I don't know if I got um, maybe one that was a little bit more overdone or something. Um, but it is, a, this one is a little bit dry. Um, 
the my cheesecake part was very, very moist and stuff, but like the outer part was kind of uh, kind of dry. Yeah, you know when I was touching it. But uh, definitely get a lot of pumpkin if you're a fan of pumpkin, which I love pumpkin. Um, really good. Um, I'm actually gonna give this. I'm gonna also give this 7.5. Actually, um, I think it was just as good. Um, that I think though the ends look like they're gonna be a little dry. Um, but for, for for just taste, and right off the bat, really good taste. Very pumpkin. Uh, you definitely get the pumpkin uh, pop tart. You know, you get the pumpkin cheesecake. You get the the drizzle. I mean, you don't really taste too much so the uh, that cream cheese drizzle, but uh, that's fine. Still good, delicious. Um, uh, still good, delicious. You know what I mean? Really good. Now the next one is the one I'm excited for. The next one is the apple. It's like apple pie one, but I'll look at the name. Look at that. It looks so good. So it is the Orchard's Haunting. Blondie base layered with an actual Little Debbie's apple pie. Like literally one of the Little Debbie's apple pies just right in the middle of it. Topped with our homemade cinnamon swirl cookie dough infused with caramel bites all top with a graham cracker crumb topping. It just sounds good. It sounds like a, an, like a caramel apple pie or something like that. Look at that. Look at that. It looks delicious. Come on. Don't tell me you don't want to take a bite of that right there. That pie in the middle. Oh gosh. That little caramel. I see some caramel right there. Holy smokes. All right. I'm actually going to take another bite of this. I'm actually going to take a bite of this right now. So go right in for that corner again. But I want to get some of that pie too. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Delicious. Apple pie filling coming out. Let me take a bite of that. Oh. Pie filling coming out. Yeah, this one definitely, hands down. My favorite for this month. Really good. If you love apple pie, and I, I do really like apple pie. Don't get me wrong, I love apple pie. I love pumpkin pie too, but this one, this one took it on this one though. I'm gonna give this one right here. Um, yeah, even the texture's good. It's nice and moist on the inside. Um, a little, a little bit. Too much uh, graham cracker crust though, but I will say that, but that's what the whole top is layered with. Like you guys can't see it, but on my tray, I have like a little tray here. It just has a bunch of crumbs all over it from the from the graham cracker crust, but um, delicious. If you like apple pie, this is the one. This is the one that, you know, is above all the rest um, of these brownies or blondies or whatever, you know, you want to call them. Um, this one, I'm actually going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Really good. Um, I just think the other ones I had before were, were really, really were way better, honestly, than this batch. Um, but still not a bad batch. You know, I guess it just depends on, you know, what your preferences are with candies and, you know, different flavors and stuff like that. The last batch, that strawberry one was so good, um, with the pop tar and the, uh, fruity pebbles and stuff. And then of course that, uh, the lemon was really good. Like everything that last, uh, last one I got was really good. This one, you know, the, the, I think I said, I think the best one so far was the apple one. And I really liked the, I mean, the pumpkin one was good, but I, like I said, I think it was gonna be a little dry. Um, that peanut m and one was another, was another really good one as well. But yeah, I think it's gonna be it. Um, yeah, if you wanna go try these these guys out, it's called Buckeye Brownies. I'm gonna leave them, like I said, in the description down below if you wanna try them out. Um, and if you wanna go check them out on Instagram and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, comment down below which one we try next. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be it. I definitely suggest uh, trying out these brownies if you haven't uh, tried them out yet. I know some of my friends and uh, actually family members had actually bought some of these after I talked about them uh, in one of my last videos. I'll actually link that video. Uh, I'll, link, I'll put a little uh, card for that video um, and I'll link it in the description down below if you hadn't seen that my first time trying them out. But really good brownies, honestly. I really like them. Um, you know, very big jam pack. And these are big brownies that I didn't say, I didn't really talk about them, but like they're like huge, like, you know like the size of my head each brownie is and you get four so you know you can't be beat so we'll see what happens i think i'm gonna maybe you know keep buying them every month if i see that they have good flavors that i like um but you know we'll see actually last month in september they had two brown they only had two brownies and it wasn't really anything that was like screaming out to me that i really wanted to try so um this month I had some brownies that i really was like oh i gotta try them out 
so I did that. Um, so we'll see you ne what next month, you know, what, 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 oh, we'll see what they come out with next month to see if I want to try it. But yeah, I think it's going to be it. This is Johnny Boy out.